This is part 2 of some of the fastest synchro Pokemon in the Indigo Disc DLC. And guys, I finally managed to get myself a Kiro. Yay! So shout out to everyone who traded and helped me out last night. I appreciate it. Because now we can finally test out this bad boy. And he's shiny as well, which makes it even better. I could tell straight away that Kiram is going to be fast. His body reminds me of a raptor. And if you've ever watched dinosaur movies, you know how fast some little shits are. You get that? And Kiram did not disappoint. He's very fast. But I still do think Varun takes that number one spot for the fastest Pokemon in the game. But Kiram is definitely in that top five. Another highly requested Pokemon was Eternatus. And honestly, I did not expect Eternatus to be that fast. He surprised me because I would have thought he was one of those Pokemon like Arceus, who's slow but have that powerful sort of feel to their movement. But Eternatus has all of that whilst being fast. I reckon he might just be faster than Latias and Latios. It sounds silly, but look at the speed, man. Like, that's not a fast speed. That's I'm um, coming to kill you sort of speed. There's one Pokemon which I'm surprised nobody has mentioned yet. I've not seen any comment regarding how Houndoom speed, which is odd because Houndoom is pretty damn fast. He might just be in the top 10 fastest in the game. Like, look at his speed, man. That is a dog you don't want to mess with. Trust me. A bonus Pokemon that was suggested was Tarantula. I don't know if I pronounced that right, so I apologize. But it was suggested not because of his speed, but because it's got one of the coolest animations in the game. And it's something that you have to view from different angles to get the full experience. And I really enjoyed that animation, so thank you, Armor TV, for that suggestion. Now there's one Pokemon which isn't really that fast, and I was surprised that it wasn't. I know it's not the speed form of Deoxys, but I still would have expected a faster run from him either way. And not this. Like, <laughs> bro, why is he running like that, man? Anyways, whilst Inteleon on the opposite side of things runs like there's no tomorrow, I have previously covered Inteleon before and I'll say it again. He is the 007 of Pokemon. He does everything. He runs, he kills, and he swims. Everything a good James Bond would need to have. And just to show you guys Inteleon's immense speed. I'm gonna have Cinderace Inteleon. You get it? Cinderace is going to race Inteleon. <laughs> Let me just get these Pokemon out of the way first. And ending it off with Iron Leaves, who must I say run so gracefully. But something that Iron Leaves can do because she's so fast is run up rugged terrain, which is very useful if you want to get to places without switching back to your trainer or going around the terrain. And not many Pokemon are capable of doing that, so that's pretty neat. If you guys got any other suggestions for Pokemon I should try out next, let me know in the comment section below and I'll feature your comment in my next video.